Hi, my name's Marcus Barnes, and I blow glass. Welcome to my studio. It's just in my garage and super cold, so I keep this toque on. I was thinking I'd make some videos to educate you on the glass blowing process. Here's my torch, and here are some safety glasses. Gotta have these to blow glass. Oh, before I forget, this is Dr. D. Dr. D is my studio assistant. He keeps me company. Today we're going to be making a point, which is a good starting piece for most any hollow glass. Now, Dr. D brought me over some tubing. Get out of here, Dr. D. You can see there's a handle on the end of this. That handle was pulled earlier on, and I'll show you how it was done. First, we've got a little extra glass on the tip here. We're going to heat that up and grab a rod and just remove it. Just stick it on there, give it a little pull inside the flame. That'll make that glass thinner there at the tip. When I blow a hole here, it'll be easier to do. Stick it in the bottom, puff up, so it goes right through the flame. You see that air? Now you got a nice hole. So now I've just made myself a good annealing flame. An annealing flame on this torch uses compressed air and propane, but on many torches you can just use oxygen and propane. This is the type of flame you're going to want to preheat your glass. You can also use this flame throughout the process to kind of anneal it, get rid of some of the stress, and make it more viable for working, less likely to shatter. So I'm just making sure it's real warm. Now I'm just heating up right by the handle. Just that one band there. The purpose of this is going to be to center that handle because I don't want there to be any wobble. This is a good way just to practice turning two different diameters. They spin at different rates, remember, so you'll see my right hand is spinning a lot faster than my left hand. Giving a little pull there, just sighting it down the tube. And now I'm going to start heating up this section a little away from where my handle is. And this will determine the size piece that I'm going to be working on. So as I'm heating this up, I'm not pulling. I'm actually pushing just a little bit, very, very slightly. You want to feel that glass move first, of course. Adjusting my flame. And we're going to give it some push just so that we build up some extra wall weight. That extra wall weight is going to help us out. It's going to make it a little bit easier for us to pull down this point. Give us a little bit more material to play with. It's, you know, to, to be honest, it's not as important on something this large that's heavy wall, but when you're doing smaller diameter tubing, very, very good to be aware of. We've got a good Maria or gather of uh, glass inside of a tube. Now we're just going to heat that up so it's nice and evenly heated and to hang it down so gravity will carry part of it. At the beginning we're not pulling much, just really letting that establish a wall weight about twice what we ultimately want it to be. Now we're going to pull quite hard. You can see the tubing is quite even. And I'm turning as I'm going, always turning as I'm going. And this will just allow me to have a really, really even handle. See? Pretty easy. It might take you a few times to get that, but let's keep at it. We're going to remove that little nipple we saw before. I'm going to repeat the same process of blowing out that hole. Here I'm going to make an ant hill, a very small lump on the outside of the tubing. You can see it there. And then when I blow in, it's going to be even easier to blow that hole. Uh, real nice. So now we're just going to cut off that extra tubing there. We don't really need that. Depending on what you're doing, you can melt it back in or just remove it with a rod as I'm doing here. My torch builds up carbon on the face, so occasionally you'll see me scrape it off like that. Now I'm just gathering that glass off the tip. 
touching it very lightly now that I have a very thin amount and that pause is important to pull out that very thin strand. You pull once and then pause and then pull again. There you go, you got a tiny little nipple there on the end, give it a little air. Make sure that your hole that you've just opened there on the other end is cold before you do this, of course. And yeah, just gonna bake a bunch of heat in there. Make sure it's all nice and even. You always wanna keep the tip of your glass the hottest. And give it a little air. You can see it evens out again. And I'm gathering more glass there on the tip. Whatever's hot, the glass will follow. It's a really, really good thing to keep in mind. Keeping that tip the hottest, hanging it so gravity will carry it to be a little thicker and adding a little air. And there you go. A pretty great looking point. Thank you so much for watching my video. If you want to see what I make with this, be sure to like and subscribe. I'm going to be doing a lot more of these, hopefully keeping them educational. And if it's of benefit to you, let me know. Also drop a comment telling me what you'd like to see in the future. Bye for now.